Welcome to Mosaic Arts Online. I am Jennifer Coons. In this online course, I will take you through the step-by-step -step process I most often use for creating a mosaic over a design, whether it's for a vertical wall or a portable substrate. I found that the method I'm teaching in this course has given me the confidence to create many successful mosaic installations. There are many uses for this technique. If you want to follow a pattern or a design, I will teach you how to work over it, adhering to mesh, recreating the image to scale and with precision. It's much easier to make changes to the mosaic while it's on mesh versus when it's permanently installed in to mortar on site. You can divide up a large mural into separate sections, making it easier to manage, both with limited workspace and during installation. A team of artists can even work separately on one large design from separate places. Best of all, I can spend months working on a large commission through inclement weather in the comfort and convenience of my studio. I store the completed sections until the entire project is completed and then, and when weather permits, I can install it in a remarkably short amount of time. In this course, I will demonstrate how to create this simple owl design made with recycled glass tiles. The course includes PDFs of this template and a supply list. If you want to follow the exact project, but you can also use your own design and materials. The main point of this course is to learn this technique, not the specific project. I'll walk you through my method for attaching a mosaic to mesh with thinset over a design, and then demonstrate how I pre grout the section to avoid messy thinset squishing through the interstices during installation. I'll show how to transfer your mosaic onto a mobile substrate on a horizontal surface but then also demonstrate how I install my work onto vertical surfaces. To show how all of this comes together, I have included in this course a one hour PowerPoint presentation. I'll walk you through this visual learning tool as I share many of my large scale installations from the very beginning of my career to my most recent commission. Each one taught me something new and allowed me to grow and evolve as a professional mosaic artist. I hope by sharing this presentation, it inspires you and gives you the confidence to create successful and achievable large-scale mosaic installations. If you are interested in placing mosaic art in an architectural setting, this course will show you some shortcuts to making the process easy and successful. This technique can be used to create indoor projects like a backsplash or shower insert, and for exterior projects that will last for decades. You will also be able to use this technique for translating your photograph or painting into mosaic by working directly over your design, whether it's for an architectural application or portable wall art. I have packed as much information as possible into this two hour plus course so that you can feel confident tackling your own professional mosaic installations. In the next section is a PDF with the suggested tools, materials, and resources. Now, let's get started. Jen, thank you so much for coming back to Mosaic Arts Online. You are one of the most talented mosaic artists with your precision cutting for stained glass and now the professional installations. I am so thrilled to have you here with all of your experience. Well, it's definitely my pleasure. Yay. <laughs> it, it, no, it's so great. Um, but let's dive right into this because you did share a lot in your intro, but I do want to elaborate a little bit more on what you do. And this course has so much value, um, but most of all, about you sharing your PowerPoint presentation, that really shows a lot of your years of experience. And can you elaborate a little bit more on what is such a valuable tool that is? You know, the when I teach my in live classes, I often show PowerPoints and my students will sometimes tell me and frequently tell me that that's their favorite part of the class, that mm -hmm. they felt that was the most valuable because I'm pretty open about sharing the trials and tribulations, the challenges yes. I faced, the mistakes I've made, and, um, and then things I've adjusted and figured out how to do differently right. as I've worked. And so slowly over the years, things have gotten easier and easier and I feel more and more confident yeah. in my approach and my hope is that I'll be able to save students from right. those lucky students. We weren't those lucky students. Were no. We? <laughs> no, how many tears, how much blood and sweat is in all of our commissions out there. But it is, it's such a great tool that you can share this with people and they can just get farther faster. Right. True. Absolutely. Yeah, no, I just love it. And could you talk, talk a little bit more about the materials that you use? Because the integrity of the materials, mostly we're talking about your thin sets and your grouts, but because you do install in many different weathers and exterior stuff, 
Talk about like how important that is. Well, that's another one of those lessons I've learned over the years where I've, you know, started out, I would just go to my local hardware store and get mm -hmm. whatever generic product was there. And because of that, I developed a mistrust of Thinset. I, mm -hmm. um, I had other professionals telling me Thinset's the way to go, but then I was using it and it wasn't working. It was failing. And then little by little, I, I came to understand a little more about the products themselves and my, I, I know, you know, we, we kind of have our MAPE people and our Laticrete yeah, people right. and I'm a Laticrete person. Um, I, nothing against MAPE, it's just I've developed a relationship with my Laticrete yes. rep, yes. Um, which is awesome and I, I often will encourage people reach out, call that number, find out who your local reps are for yes. these products and ask them questions. And you learn so much about how to use them correctly, why different versions, you know? So in my case, I like to use the Laticrete um, Platinum 254 Right, is my favorite. So far, there's a, there's a new one that I'm looking mm -hmm. forward to trying. But for me, um, it was a game changer because I had used so many other products with my stained glass, which is just not very porous. There's not a lot None. of purchase there. No. So when I'd be moving things around or I'd go to grout, pieces would come off, Right. which can really just mess up your process and makes things take a lot longer. And um, So what I've learned is that this particular thin set works great for me and I just trust it. Mm -hmm. I feel really confident. I know yeah. that I can put it on this mesh and pick it up and the pieces aren't going to fall off. Right. And then with the grout, it's kind of similar. I've gotten a lot of, um, I've had a lot of conversations with my Laticrete rep about, you know, which grouts are going to be best to use in different situations. Mm -hmm. But um, the, this Permacolor Select grout, um, it has the polymers added already. It's stain proof and easy to clean and it's weatherproof and it has flex to it because of those polymers, which is a really important thing to know about. Well, and I think it's really important people know as MAPE is an amazing product and we mm -hmm. know a lot of professional mosaic artists use it. Laticrete does have kind of a love affair with mosaic artists. And That's so true. the owner of the company has really been very open to hearing from us, you know, what we think about certain things. And you can find a few more things in Laticrete you can't find in MAPE, especially if you watch Jen's presentation about the diversity mural, that was a game changer, right? It really was. Yeah, so mm -hmm. there are some things about these products that really can take you farther faster that that you might not know about and Home Depot does not have to be your go-to. I would highly recommend what Jen says about talk to your reps, get mm -hmm. to know your tile stores that sell these higher end products if you are going to start doing things that are for professional installations and places. And then uh, my favorite thing to say is the way I installed something is I can sleep at night. It, when you know your product, it goes a long way toward the, the long-term integrity of your mosaic. And you know, one of the things that happens with me sometimes is um, I'll have a committee talking to me about hiring me to do a mosaic maybe for public art say and oftentimes they'll point to something they've seen and they'll say but mosaic eh, it doesn't really last right and so it's really important to me to convey as much of this as I can to the wider mosaic community to spread better mosaic That's right. around no. the world. It's better for all of us. Yeah, and I've even had the experience with some general contractors that look at me like, why do you need that thin set? What, you mm -hmm. gotta have the fancy frosting? And I'm like, yeah, I do. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't wanna like lose sleep over a job that something fell off and glass is different than tile. So mm -hmm. let's talk about that. You mostly work in stained glass, but mm -hmm. this is not an only glass sort, this, sort of course. This is not about the material. It's not even about this, this project. project yeah. This is just a demo project project that I made as simple and easy as possible that anyone could do yeah. just to practice and play. But the, the whole point of the class is to learn this technique so that you can take that forward into doing whether you just want to do it for yourself and you just want to put in your own backsplash or yeah. you know your bath surround or fireplace surround, this will tell you how to do it. But also for those mosaic artists who are wanting to maybe move into a public mm -hmm. art realm or taking commissions from right. you know, private or corporate clients, whatever the case, um, whether you want to do sidewalk inlays or walls or, you know, this is a, a starting point for that. This is going to give you those steps you need to make it easier and more successful.
long term. Yeah, and this course does not include anything about contracts or pricing or any of the business True. side of it. This is about the physical act of creating the nuts something. And bolts. Yeah, that if you did create something like this and then you watch the PowerPoint presentation, you would totally get how once you have figured out your pricing, which is very important to be done personally, like you know how we've all learned to raise our prices over the years, um, that this will teach you all the integrity of creating something that will be successful and last a long time, right? Right. I cannot thank you enough for coming here and sharing this. This has never been in our library, and we're thrilled to have it. I'm really excited. I, I think um, the class is going to be a really useful tool for for, and it's a very versatile tool to have in your uh, wheelhouse. You know. Yeah. So, I'm I'm looking forward to hearing from students to find out how they what they're making in as they go forward after and this. And you've had many students take this as a live class. So this has been a success. So now mm -hmm. we can reach, you know, people all over the world um, to learn your technique, which is a success. And I think honestly, this is a more thorough class than I've been able to teach live. We were able to do things here on Mosaic Arts Online that are harder to do in person in a short a short period of time like that. Well, I'm thrilled, and you can watch it over and over again, learn different things. You can always reach out to Jen um, through our comments section. And again, I can't thank you enough for coming to do this. Great. <laughs> <laughs>